morning. Oh, thank you. Better get up if you'll kill me. <laughs> Baby, could you please stop making that noise with that knife? Otherwise, I'll have to kill you. You want toast? No, I don't. I want you to stop sharpening that knife with that steel. I can't stand that noise. Oh, this noise? Yes, that one. Stop it, otherwise God will punish you. <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> this knife is useless. Keeps cutting off my finger. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hey, hey. You want a bit of tomato puree on toast? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Come on, get a real on. Yes, yes. The sales are on. And I promised Fifi I'd go with her. She wants to buy some shoes, not one, but two. <laughs> what is it with women and shoes, eh? There are three. Powerful urges which drive humankind. The shoe drive, the sex drive, and amongst the more socially dysfunctional, the four-wheel drive. But the shoe drive is by far the most powerful. Come on! I mean, women find shoes a much bigger turn-on. Quite understandable. They smell better than most blokes. <laughs> and they don't crush pedestrians with their huge bull bars. Stretch, will they? No, they're wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm going to have to take them back. Fifi, you can't take them back. They're on sale special, and there's a big sign saying no refunds, no returns, especially if people call Fifi, remember? <laughs> Where's the shoebox? It's gone. Where's it gone? I used it. What for? For car engine bits. Oh, <laughs> oh hello, Mrs. Mule. It's about 11 o'clock, I think. I've come to give Glennie's instructions. Give it to you. Sorry, dear, I can't move as quickly as I used to. It's my hip. Your what? My hip. Your what? My hip! Hooray! For she's a jolly good fellow, for she's a jolly good fellow. Oh, I forgot it's my birthday, is it? No. That's cruel, that is. <laughs> now, where's that nice young man, Glenn? Over here, Mrs. Mule. Not much room here, is there? Hardly enough room to... <laughs> See? Oh, poor Bobby. He doesn't like confined spaces. Gives him a headache. Now, Glyn, I've got the instructions written down for you. I've divided it into sections. Mrs. Mule. Oh. I'm here, dear. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Feeding, grooming, and going poo. Right. 
I think you'll find that everything is in order. Right. I should be back tomorrow, but just in case of complications. Complications. <laughs> oh, you mean in case you die unexpectedly. <laughs> No, in case I run off to Rio with the anaesthetist, actually. <laughs> right. Now, you must make sure he doesn't get overexcited because he frets. Does he? Mm. Like a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Worse, like an accordion. <laughs> okay, well, you know what they say about cats, Mrs. Mule? No. What do they say? Excuse me, I'll just get the door. Oh, that's right, I remember. <laughs> Excuse me, I'll just get the door. It's all right, I'm there now, it's all right. Hi, Jeff, come in, how are you, mate? Never better. Well, hope you get better soon. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Faith? Yeah? Oh, hello, Mrs. Mule. How's your hip? It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's good, then. Getting better. Well, yesterday, when I asked her how a hip was, she said it was half past ten, so... <laughs> well, Mrs. Mule, thank you for popping around, dear. OK, you are Bobby all right? Now, don't forget to drop off the key. Key? The key to your flat, so I can get in to feed little Bobby. Ow! Okie dokie. Right, oh, dear. Come on, Bobby, it's time to be a cappuccino. Yes. There you go. So, Jeffrey, what's up? Oh, nothing. I just ran out of milk, so I wanted to know if you wanted me to borrow some of yours. Ah. New shoes, Faith? Yep. You know what they say? It's bad luck to put shoes on the table. Well, that's right. Why are the milk so bad luck, Jeff? <laughs> hey, Peter, what's all this with Mrs. Mule? Have you offered to look after a cat? You don't like cats. I didn't say I don't like cats. I just said that me and cats don't have a lot in common. Apart from the fact that we're very clean and we both like to do our poos in the bottom of the garden when no one's looking. All <laughs> right. Uh, cats have got their place. It's called a sack in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't find that very funny, mate. See, I could do that once when I was a kid and it tears the guts out of a bloke. <laughs> Took me 20 minutes to get that sack off. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, you know what it's like with poor Mrs. Mule. She's going into the hospital to have a cataract done, and she was worried about Bobby the cat, and, you know, so I, I offered. Oh, it's a very Australian thing to do, mate. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and what a great nation this would be. If we measured ourselves not so much by what we have, but rather by what we do for one another. What we do for the poor. What we do for the marginalized. <laughs> what we do for the elderly. Oi! Oi! Excuse me. <laughs> What's wrong with a bit of pathos? Huh? It doesn't have to be all slapstick, does it? No, it does not. <laughs> oh, very funny. Right, you two are out of the gang. Make up! Make up! Make up! New shoes, Faith? Do you like them? Hmm, not really. Oh, me neither. When are you taking them back? I can't. My refunds are bound to recognise me. Oh, no, not sales assistants. They only remember people who were like, you know, rude and pushy. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. You got a receipt? No. Hang on. Here's an old one from a different pair of shoes. Well, that'll do. They'll never know. But you owe me a favour. Oh, anything. Just ask. Really? I <laughs> love that. All right, Faith. I won't be long. OK. Catch you later, Glenn. <laughs> is this, uh, is, it, is this fur ball yours? Thanks, dear. I must stop licking the soap. <laughs> oh, yeah. You must. Do you see that? That's the second time a bird has attacked that window. I don't know. Something strange about the birds today. Yes, I've noticed that too. What do you think it is? Are they guarding their territory? Beats me. Are you going to see it? Hey! <gasps> do you see that? Mm. 
All those gulls were attacking him. <laughs> Something strange about the birds today. Yes, I've noticed that too. What do you think it is? Are they guarding their territory? It's me. I just had the really strangest days out there. I knew you were going to say that. Me too. <gasps> Hello, Fifi here. Oh, hi, Vicky. I thought it would be you. <laughs> what? Sorry, no, of course I'm going out tonight. Oh, hang on. She wants to know if you can babysit tonight. What? He said, what? <laughs> she said she asked you weeks ago. She did not. She's lying. He says you're a filthy liar. <laughs> Hang on. Well, can you do it or not? Absolutely not. What time are you coming around? <laughs> About seven? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Okay, then. Bye. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Listen to that. That's the cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go and check that it's okay. Yeah. Mrs. Mule, are you there? Mrs. Mule? There's no answer. I mean, if I don't get in there, that cat's going to go really hungry. Well, didn't she give you the key? No. The silly old biddy must have forgotten. <sighs> Maybe she left it in the letterbox. Okay, yeah. I'll go downstairs and have a look. Okay. No luck. If I don't get in there soon, my cat really will be hungry. Well, I've had a feast. Oh, One thanks. refund at 15995. Thank you. Excuse me for talking while you're interrupting, but what about the key to Muley's place? Well, you could try the window. It's two flights up. Not you, Faith. <laughs> See, there's no way I'm going out the window ledge. No way. <laughs> Fifi. Ah, I go in there to be nice. The cat breaks both my legs. <laughs> Something strange about the animals today. Uh, Lynn's right, Fifi. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's something strange going on. <laughs> something evil. Shut up, bird brain. <laughs> you, when you were in Mrs. Mule's flat, did you find a spare key? No, I didn't. But it's okay, Fifi, because I left the door slightly open so I can get in later. Well, you left the door ajar. Yeah. Well, now it's no longer a door. <laughs> oh, I only hope we find him soon. It'll be getting dark. The poor thing may fret. Like an accordion. <laughs> Don't worry, Glyn. We'll get Bobby back. I promise you, mate. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your concern. I just wish that there was something more that I could do myself. But I can't, you know why? Because I'm a useless old cripple, that's why. <laughs> Mate, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't have to say nothing. Just get along. Get along. Don't just stand there. Go. I don't want your pity. Come on, Jeff, let's go. Say you bye. Yeah, see you. <laughs> oh, what have you forgotten now? Oh! <laughs> oh, baby Annie. 
Victoria. Man in suit. <laughs> What's happened to your leg? Food poisoning. <laughs> I see. Believe this is Clive. Oh, yes, Clive. We met at the divorce proceedings. <laughs> Tell me, Clive, when you became a barrister and sold your soul to the devil, did you get a good price? Oh, yes. And he threw in a four-wheel drive. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember me. I never forget a face, Clive. Beautiful, aren't they? So sleek, so smooth, and yet so ruthless. What kind of fish are they? Piranhas, Clive. Piranhas that can tear the flesh off a man to bare bones in less than one hour! Quite a horrific experience to go through! Don't you think, Clive? I suppose so. Glyn loves to be melodramatic. Don't take any notice of him. So these are piranhas, you say? Yes. We're from the Amazon? No, Victoria didn't give them to me. <laughs> oh, really? They're not piranhas at all. They're just silly little goldfish. Glyn is just trying to scare you. Look. Ah, ah. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> oh, you've broken Annie up. <laughs> No, not on me. Oh, use mine. <laughs> OK, hold a hand, hold a hand, hit the fish on the head until it falls off. But won't that hurt? Not if you keep your fingers out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you go? Any luck? No, sorry. Oh, well, thanks for trying. Oh, I've got... Oh. <laughs> Jeff, you found Mrs Mills' cat. Oh. No, I didn't. What, he came back by himself? Oh. Hang on. That's not Mrs Mules' cat, Jeff. Where'd you get it from? I can't say. <laughs> Why not? Well, it, 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 it's possibly hot. You put the cat on heat? Well... <laughs> I met this guy and he said he could get things, you know, anything. And so, well, he had a cat, so I thought I'd get it. It's only five bucks. I'm just trying to help. Oh, hang on. This cat looks a little bit like Bobby, and he's a bit fatter. And Mrs. Mule is so old and blind, she'll never know the difference. What do you think? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> The hot cat for sure. Oh, it's a fraudulent shoes. Open the door in the name of the law. Oh, my officer, can I be of any assistance at all? To you? Yes, you can. You can shut up and you can, you can sit down and start. Sergeant Smith of the convoy squad. I'm completely surrounded. What took you so long? Which one of you two is Fifi Gillespie? Guess. <laughs> One of you two recognise in this? <laughs> no! Do you, Thief? Oh, thief! Thief! Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, so... You're Thief Eagle Lesbie. Oh, give me a closer look at that shoe, officer. Oi. Mm. Oh, sorry, Chief Detective Sergeant. <laughs> Have a look at the heel. You see it practically untouched. Ah! You knew exactly where the, the heel was! You fell for the trick in the oldest... And book. You're Nick, love. Oh, just what exactly am I being nicked for, Sergeant? Have a look here. Embezzlement, fraudulently claiming refunds on footwear, and impersonating a uh, police officer. And then I did. Good one, thief. <laughs> you shut your mouth, son. You understand? Or you'll be taken up the river and charged as a, an accompanist. You understand, Moon? Listen. Right. Listen, Sergeant. Oh, oh, Sorry, Detective Sergeant. Oh, you don't have any proof, do you? Accusing me of fraud is preposterous. Oh, this is a joke. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to take you to court. Yeah, you two left to the and judge, love. Oh, Sorry, come here. Pressure point, pressure oh, point. Please, please don't drag me away like the common criminal. Oh, oh, I don't know why I've done it. I need help, not punishment. Oh. 
Show me, girlie. Oh, holy than a melody. My shoes! They're ruined! The cat has used my Gucci's as a nursery! <laughs> look, oh, there we go, little fella. Look at this little kitty cat. Oh, look at his tiny little face, little ears, tiny little paws. That's long enough. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. I just get very emotional. Times like this, birth, death, royal, and commission, you know. Yes, Sarge. Oh, sorry, Detective Inspector. Is there anything I can do to cheer you up? Could you sing to me? You have a seat. Sing something nice. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a... Oh, sorry. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Puss. 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 Hey, Jeff, you're not going to believe this. I've lost the cat again. What's that horrible noise? It's Fifi. She's singing like a sick bird to the cops. Here they come. Come on, Sergeant, I'll see you out. <gasps> Sergeant Smith! Here, it's all over. Well, thanks again for being so understanding. Yeah, now, you remember what I said, don't you? Yes, I remember. Good girlie. And look after them other little kitties. Yes. Come on, Simba. Come on, Nala. If you tell anyone I cried, I'll enjob ya. Guess what? The cat has had kittens in my boots. Then, <gasps> the cat has had kittens in my boots. What? Kittens in boots? <laughs> what are we going to tell Mrs. Mule? <gasps> Bet that's her. Yeah, I'll get it. Dear, come in. I'm coming for Bobby. Right. Well, um, we have some good news for you. Yes, it's half past eleven. Lovely. I love good news. It's all I have to look forward to at my age, apart from mud wrestling at the police boys who love the Saturday. Well, it's actually about your cat, Bobby. How old do you think I am? I've no idea, but about Bobby. Seventy-six years old. Yes, I just am. shut up a minute, because I want to talk. Oh, it's a tricky thing. Now, what's this about Bobby? Well, you haven't lost him, have you? I'd be devastated if you lost him. No, we haven't lost him. See? No. <laughs> well, have a lick then. <laughs> he might taste a bit different because you've got bandages on. Oh, yes, he does, doesn't he? I will thank you all, you young ones. Not you, Glyn. I'll be spaghetti back then. Right. Perhaps, Jeff, you could uh, show Mrs. Mule to the door. Phew! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Glyn, what are we going to do with all them other kittens? I haven't thought about that. Any ideas? <laughs> Not the sack! Not the sack! Not the sack! Dad! Dad, I want to be another show and well usually we try to bring you a happy ending don't we we certainly do but you know 
It's not always like that, is it? I mean, life isn't always happy, so get used to it. <laughs> Thank you for this day and the fact that all those little kittens have found a good home. And we thank you also that Mrs. Mule has learned to love her new cat as her own. We rejoice that Fifi has given away so many of her shoes to the needy and that Jeff has finally overcome his fear of sacks. <laughs> we pray for Sergeant Smith, especially at this time, and all those like him. Well, God. I'm a little tired now, so if you don't mind, I'd like to say, Amen. Amen. Much. 